हेलो गाइस मैं सलमान शर्मा वेलकम टू टेक्नो सेज सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट एफ टी पी एंड मैक ओ एस एज लॉट मेनी पीपल नो दैट एफ टी पी डजेंट वर्क ऑन मैक ओ एस सिंस एफ टी पी प्रोजेस सिक्योरिटी थ्रेड्स ओवर मैक ओ एस दैट इज द रीजन मैक ओ एस डजेंट वॉन्ट एफ टी पी टू बी रन ऑन द सिस्टम सो ऑन दी स्क्रीन यू कैन सी आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस अ पर्टिकुलर एफ टी पी पाथ वाई दी एफ टी पी कमांड एंड माई सिस्टम इज सेंग दैट कमांड नॉट फाउंड एफ टी पी बट येट आई कैन रीड द कंटेंट ऑफ द सर्वर थ्रू एफ टी पी इन द रीड ऑनली मोड so this privilege mac os gives so how you can do it just go to any of your browser whether it's chrome or firefox and just copy the command the ftp command paste there and do these changes colon and double slash so what it it's doing it is just creating an address click on to this address it will give you open finder a website wants to open this application click on to open finder and you can see the console opens up if let's suppose your ftp is password protected you need to give the username and the password and if it is not the password protected you need to just select the guest and connect so it's getting connected and you can see that uh, now the ftp server is hosted and you can see the content of the file in the read only access just select this path and if you want to disconnect it click on to this disconnect button and your ftp server will be disconnected again if you want to access just again do the same thing and you will be able to access the ftp con the contents of the F ftp server next is with the help of the curl command also you can access or download any content from your ftp server like for ex example in the same path i have this file present and i want to download it i am using the curl command to download this this file from the ftp server so what i'll do i'll just go here directly i'll paste the curl command so you can also frame your uh, curl if you know the exact path where the file is kept if you hit enter and you will be able to download i'll just stop the download over here so in this way you can able to download the file from your ftp server still if you want to access the ftp server from your command line what you need to do is there is a package called nc nc ftp in your brew you need to give the command called brew install nc ftp hit enter and you can see that uh, the nc ftp is getting installed this is basically the old school way of uh, using the ftp like how we used to do it on the linux systems and now you can see that uh, the nc ftp has been installed so this is not the exact ftp but uh, uh, you can say a copy of uh, an ftp also so instead of using the ftp directly we need to give the command as ncftp i'll show you how so earlier our command was this instead of ftp i'll just give ncftp hit enter and now you can see it's getting logged in so you can see logged into your ftp this so in this way you can use the ftp from your command prompt also so i have shown you three ways in which you can access your ftp server first from the browser where it will just navigate to the finder and an application will be opened up the ftp server will be hosted on your system and you can access your uh, the contents of your ftp server in the read only access second being you can use the curl command and third you need to install the nc ftp and can use the old school way of ftp i hope this solves your problem please do let us know in the comment section do like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching guys